Well, once again, I got seat scammed by my cat. And once again, Fortnite has announced that Chapter 1 OG, this time specifically Chapter 1 Season 1, is coming back. This time, forever. What does that mean about battle passes, though? Are the battle passes going to come back? Are we going to have a better shop than last time Fortnite OG came back? Let's talk about it. We'll just fly through some of the basics if you haven't been aware of this news yet. All seasons, chapter one, seasons one through seasons 10 will return monthly, rotating on a monthly basis. We're starting with season one, obviously. Only OG loot will be available and it supports both builds and zero builds. However, they don't mention anything about squad size. And if we remember what happened when Reload first came out, it was available only in, I think, maybe squads, and then duos was quickly added as well. I think it's going to be the same for this mode. It's going to be available, in my opinion, I think truly down to my heart, it's going to be squads only, but I, I think they're going to be convinced quickly enough to add in a duos playlist as well. I absolutely do not think every squad size is going to be available off the rip um, for Fortnite OG. I think it's just going to be squads, but maybe squads and duos. Really not sure what everyone's so excited about though. I mean, the season one map is incredibly boring to play on. Um, it's empty, totally empty. Uh, there's a dearth of loot. There's a dearth of POIs. Um, it's just going to be walking in between stuff forever. going to be pretty boring if you ask me. It will support ranked, which is another reason why I believe the squad sizes will be limited even more since there's also going to be a ranked playlist splitting up the player base even more so now. And Fortnite seems to be more and more going away from the idea of exclusivity with regards to their cosmetic items, uh, with their announcement that Battle Pass items will be available for purchase 18 months after their initial appearance in the game. And with this tweet from Ipex here, um, seeming to indicate the same thing, saying Fortnite seemed to be completely moving away from exclusivity. New PS5 skin confirmed now not to be exclusive, so you buy this PS5 bundle and you get all this cool stuff with it, you're going to be able to buy all that stuff in the shop later. Uh, quest items are now included in locker bundles when you can only get them in quests later. I just smacked my... Oops. Future battle passes are resold, like I mentioned. Starter packs are starting to return, like we just saw that one from Chapter 2. I don't know, I bought it too, just because it's a free skin for six dollars uh, of V-Bucks. I buy them, sure. And FNCX, FNCS cosmetics are returning as well. So it seems like they're really moving away away from the idea of uh, cosmetic exclusivity, and that's why I believe they they are going to release um, the season one battle pass or some type of battle pass with some old cosmetics available. Since they said the OG mode will have its own lobby. I mean, Reload has its own lobby background, and Zero Build, you know, whatever, Battle Royale, has its own lobby background. Maybe, you know, they could advertise it right here in the top left, where they put all this stuff, the OG Pass. But I would assume they would have it just available right here amongst the Music Pass and Battle Pass, uh, where you can buy it for hopefully cheaper than 950 to be perfectly honest. Because the fact that this... <clears throat> OG pass is still 950 and we only get half the stuff. It's kind of a ripoff, to be perfectly blunt. They might also do something like on Halo here, where you can buy multiple different battle passes and sort of opt into different ones to complete at different times. So right now I've just got this Halloween one equipped. I'm like almost finished it. You can see I'm on tier 17 or whatever. Um, but I can, or I could choose to do another battle pass over here and equip this one if I wanted. Maybe this one could be the season OG battle pass. Um, you know, and then this one over here could be the, the music festival pass. So they could, they could maybe be splitting up this way where you could choose different ones and equip different battle passes to complete. However, I think you're just gonna be able to complete all the battle passes between any game mode like I mentioned before. What do you think they're gonna do? Do you think they're gonna drop a new battle pass at all? Do you think they're too chicken to do that? Do you think it's right for them to do that? Do you think it's fair? Let me know down below. I think they're gonna though. <laughs> and I think people are gonna be mad. Oh well, I'm gonna keep playing, I'm gonna keep having fun. I'll see you guys in chapter six. Like and subscribe.
Editor Otter here with my broken blue light glasses. Hypex tweeted this out while I was editing this video, basically saying that on Fortnite's support page, they confirmed that OG battle passes are not affected by the recent battle pass exclusivity changes, therefore they won't return. Because they said on their... Uh, the battle passes that are returning are the ones in Chapter 5 and on. If you can see in this tweet, it says from December 14th to February 20th, which is Season 2. But, you know, you never know what's going to happen. They might find a loophole, or they might have some kind of, you know, instead of the skins returning, they'll do like a remix of the skins like they did in the initial Chapter 4 OG season. I thought those skins were pretty darn good. Um, you know what? He, he made the tweet while I was editing the video. It's good tweet to... It's good tweet. It's good practice to make these videos anyway. It's good practice for me. Uh, and I enjoy doing it, so I'm going to post a video anyway. Thanks for watching.